good morning. Well, when we got out of the car, I just knocked a chunk of sand. <laughs> it's close. I just knocked that chunk of sand then, and it fell literally next to the camera bag, nearly, nearly went straight into the camera bag. <laughs> oh dear. Good start. Good start. Yeah. So, good morning. <laughs> when we got out of the car, uh, we parked the car. I'm at Pem uh, Bury Port Lighthouse which is just over there, you see the light flashing on it. And this is a recce, I'm going to tell you that now. I've never been here before. I've never seen photographs of it, really. Uh, not, in, not in a landscape photography way, anyway. Um, and, but I only live like 20 minutes away. So I've met up with Dave, come down here this morning, just do a bit of a recce, see what's going on. Um, weather forecast was okay-ish sort of thing. As you can see, there's a bit of colour in the sky behind us. But yeah, just, just a recce this morning, just get down here. Uh, and uh, yeah, it feels like I haven't done a sunrise in a while, so get down here and see what see what sort of photo see why there aren't any photographs at this location was the point why I mean it's lighthouses it's a beautiful white lighthouse with a red red dome on the top looks really pretty so why has no one seemed to have taken any photographs of it <laughs> has to be a reason so yeah got it this morning a uh, nice bit of color over to the left always in the wrong place the color is coming over there um, I can't actually decide what I'm gonna do with the camera Dave's already getting a photograph I think I'm going to wait a little bit, get the camera down low and do a long exposure. That's probably my best option this morning. Uh, but yeah, going to get set up and uh, wait to see if the, there's no definition in the clouds. I think if there was some definition in the clouds, a long exposure would, would have worked quite well. Just getting the camera really, really nice, modern, minimalistic, almost fine art looking image of the lighthouse there on the bottom, on the bottom third would be quite nice, but there's no detail in the cloud. So yeah, quite frustrating this morning. So far, being as though the light's in the wrong place. <laughs> But you never know, it might, be, it might still be nice, it might still be nice. Let's get set up anyway. It's actually turning out to be a really, really nice morning. Not so much in the direction that I'm shooting, but it's really nice, really pleasant, really relaxed, really nice peaceful when I left the house this morning it was blowing a gale if I weren't meeting Dave Pierce I would never have made it this morning because it literally sounded terrifying I thought we we're gonna have traumatic waves and everything but no really nice and calm so I thought by the time sunrise is here which is about in the next five minutes that light would have moved that clouds might have moved around enough to give us a bit of a break um, beyond the lighthouse and that's not happening <laughs> Bit of a shame. There is a tiny bit of colour. Uh, the camera's showing it better. So what I've decided to do is get the camera low, just to make sure the headland there in the background. I wanted to make sure it's spinning around. The headland there, behind where the um, where the lighthouse juts out, I wanted to make sure that was sort of parallel or in line at least with with the uh, the lighthouse island, as it were. Um, peninsula. That's the word I'm looking for. Peninsula. So where that peninsula sticks out needs to be in line with that that headland in the background. Other than that, I've just gone for a really minimalistic long exposure. I've tried some with a filter, I've tried some without a filter. Um, pol polarizer, they just get rid of the glare off the water. Um, but yeah, just at the bottom left of the, of the screen, nothing much to it. Just nice, relaxing. Really, really nice morning. It's just agony that if we were stood over there, if you look over in that direction, uh, there, if we were stood over there on that headland sticking out there, we'd have had some lovely colour to shoot towards. But of course, we come here to actually have a look at this lighthouse and see why no one's ever taken any pictures of it. Well, of course they have, but you know what I mean. They normally, you see these locations, especially around South Wales, you see these locations sort of on social media all the time, sort of similar locations. Or, and I just wondered why has this never been shot? I just couldn't get my head around it. And David had never been here either, so yeah, it's good to get here. The other thing I wanted to talk about is Case. Now. I'm not sponsored by Case or anything, I buy all my own gear. Um, but Case have sent me a filter holder to play with. Uh, it's called the K9. Really, really, really smart. I love the Case system, I really do. I have got um, the Case polarizers and the Case, the old K K100, I think the old K8 or K100, the old, um, in fact, I've got it here. The K100, that's the old polarizer. Um, now, the reason why I went for the case system originally was because of I like my wild camping and stuff, and these literally don't weigh anything. They are tiny, and that's the old version. The new one is even smaller, even lighter. 
believe it or not, they literally, I came from the, um, keep an eye on this tide. The tide is supposed to be high tide now, so I need to keep an eye on this. Um, I came from a format high tech system, which I really, I never got on with. I found it so heavy. It fell off the camera a few times. It was so bulky. Um, yeah, I just never really enjoyed using it. So as soon as I went over to the case system, I loved the filters anyway. And then my mate, Matt, who is a case ambassador, um, uh, got sent some filters when we were in Scotland to play with and we did a drop test and smash test, the Wolverine glass they call it, just to see how tough they were and that blew my mind. So since then, Case have actually reached out to me, maybe one of their champions, that's <laughs> what that means. Um, but uh, yeah, so they send me gear to sort of test and review and that sort of thing. So yeah, they've sent me this new filter holder, which I didn't think they could improve on the last one, but it's uh, even smaller, even lighter, and they've made it so that it's quicker to get on and off because the knob on the front is only like half a turn to get it on and off. And then it's got a big wheel on the left, which makes it easier when you've got gloves on. Um, and it's generally lighter, and I'm sure there's other improvements that I've forgotten about. Oh yes, it's got a massive uh, polarizer now, so if you've got a really wide, some of the full frame wide angle lenses, the, they don't get the vignette in on that as well. So they've sent me that to try, but obviously I'm with a, with a crop center Fuji, so that doesn't apply to me anyway. <laughs> but it is a fantastic system, so I really do um, rate Case as a company, they're fantastic. And they're a lovely bunch, of, lovely community as well, so yeah, do check them out. This is not an advert, they're not paying me. They did give me this filter holder to try it, and I'm being honest with you, I'm not, this is not a, a paid advert at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> honest. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna check out this photograph and see if we can make any improvements or any adjustments to it. Because at the minute, I've only got one photograph and it's 60 seconds, F11, ISO 160. And nothing's changed. <laughs> I might put a grad on there just for the hell of it, see what happens. I've exhausted this composition. I was gonna put a grad on there and try and darken the sky a little bit. Um, of course with a, a zoom lens a hard edge grad becomes more like a soft grad so it wasn't really having the, the effect oh that tide is coming in i've got to get the bags out of the way the tide is <laughs> it's made a big shift How was the morning been, Dave? Disappointing. You reckon? Yeah. Not enough colour. Never mind. Is it going to be a black and white shot this morning then? Uh, yeah, it could be. It could be black and white. I love to see. <laughs> love to see. Okay, so for me, this trip this morning was primarily a scouting trip, just to see because from Google Earth, I just couldn't get an idea of what was what the sort of potential was like because there's loads of these sand dunes around. And I just wondered why, why is there not a shot through the sand dunes, some nice detail in the sand dunes with the lighthouse in the background. Now, annoyingly, there's, a, there's like a wall sticking through the lighthouse, which you'll see, which you probably would have seen in the photograph. And you can't see the entirety of the lighthouse. So don't like that. But I do like these sand dunes. They're not very big. Oh dear, let's try and get this one. They're not very big, but there's lots of, it's so that sort of grass. And I was just thinking if I ever wander around, if I, probably not today, but if I took long enough with the right lens, I should be able to get a nice shot. I mean, sunrise is that location, that direction. Sunset is in that direction. So maybe a sunset location. But yeah, just looking in these sand dunes for a potential composition, because it, it goes on for quite a way over in that direction. There must be a shot to be had, but not too far for the lighthouse, because obviously with a wide angle lens, it's gonna throw that lighthouse miles away into the distance. There has to be a shot here, so I'm gonna spend five or 10 minutes having a quick look around. I missed the boat on this one. Well, Dave got it. Dave was here before me, but I, uh, faffing around trying to get the drone out and then remembering I forgot the, uh, the controller. <laughs> so all that effort for nothing. Um, really like this composition, nice. It looks like if you get the full, the three of them, it looks like Loch Ness <laughs> sticking out that sand. Uh, but I like the last one and the water was just coming up to the, to the end of this last bit of wood. Um, and it obviously on a nice long exposure, the water receding back to the sea. Would be really nice, but I might've just missed because the high tide's been and gone, I think. So every seventh, every seventh wave should be the high one, apparently, I'm told. I've learned that. So 
So I might have, I'm just going to wait, I've set up so that that bit of wood is in the bottom left corner of my bird. Uh, it doesn't balance, the shot doesn't balance, it don't work really at all. Um, it's a shame. It doesn't point quite in the right direction. It's uh, obviously you need the lighthouse in the shot. Yeah, that water's not coming back in now, is it? Ah, <laughs> oh, shame. Ten more minutes and I'd have had this shot. But yeah, I say this whole, the whole this morning was supposed to be about a recce anyway. We we're just about here to enjoy ourselves and uh, scout the location, and see if there was ever a, a chance at any sort of photograph here. And it's it's been a good fun morning. But no, that wave is not that wave's not coming back in. Got my cable release a hand with it does, but that is not happening. Two second shutter anyway, two, two second exposure, F9, ISO 200, and I'm focus stack. I'm focusing on the, the middle of the uh, the branch that's sticking out there, and I was going to take a shot then on the lighthouse just, and just merge the two together. I think it's, uh, I think I've missed this one. Shame. But they're both on the thirds, nicely anyway, for you, those of you who like to have things on their thirds organised perfectly. <laughs> Sure, I'll get a few comments on that one. <laughs> Is it, am I the only one that every time I see somebody walking a dog on the beach, I wonder if there's going to be a photograph, a long lens photograph? If she walks around there to the edge of the coast, with a dog. Might be quite nice. I don't know. Anyway, distracted. <laughs> Joe, it's been a cracking morning. And I think I've enjoyed it a lot because the whole point of a recce is just to come down either on your own or with a friend, but with no pressure just to see how some place might work, different light, different times of day, different times of tide. Obviously we've come down here for the first time ever, so we didn't know what the high tide was going to be like, the low tide or anything. Um, but I yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And I tell you, I've just, just we're just taking a quick snap. We're taking snaps. They're mainly record shots. I wouldn't say I've taken a photograph that I particularly like that I'd print, put on the wall or anything. Um, but it's it's been nice because the pressure's not been on to get a great shot as such because we knew the conditions are gone and everything like that. Tide's gone out now, so that's not a factor anymore. But I've moved the camera around just a bit more than I would normally, just playing around and whatever. We're in no rush. Um, I noticed the shot that I. I probably wouldn't have taken. I thought the first shot I, I took, landscape worked quite well. And then just because the pressure was off, I just felt a bit more free. Um, and I, I put the camera portrait, and I thought, well, if I put the, 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 the log, whatever it is, the bit branch, to the right of the composition portrait and see how that looks. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not a great photograph because the sky's rubbish, but it's, it, it's, the composition's really nice. I really like it. And it's, I think just the, the whole notion of being here, just relax and not, not you know, if it was an amazing sky or something tonight, that today, then uh, we'd have been really pressured to get that right and perhaps not enjoyed it as much. But it's been really nice just to relax and just to uh, take it all in. Dave, we're just wandering around. Dave's over there take, looking for another composition now. And nothing really matters. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least you've, you've been and you've got a feel for the place. Because Google Earth just wasn't giving me the information. I looked at uh, TPE, Photographer's Everfist, which I'm sure most of you use. And in that, I've got an app called Skyfire, which is an app within the app subscription based and that gave us an indication of what the what the sky was going to be like um, and obviously looking at the weather as well and that didn't help either so I thought we'd just have to come down but just the whole idea of just prattling around yeah it's been really really nice so I've taken a shot now portrait two minutes exposure focus stacking on the wood because I'm now on the 10 to 24 Fuji wide angle image stabilization off um, and focusing on the lighthouse in the background yeah, it looks quite good. There's a bit of detail in the sky now, in the clouds, so hopefully that, that will pull through really nicely. This might, be, this might be a nice image. Definitely one to come back to, though. Right, we're going to end the video now, because we're walking out towards the lighthouse and the wind has picked up, and this gimbal does not like wind. <laughs> That's not actually that windy, but yeah, it'll collapse, I know it will. Have we found the location? Good potential? Great potential, we'll have to come back. Yeah, I think so. Um, High tide though, or again, or low tide, do you think? I wouldn't mind a low tide coming in. Just to see what it's like. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool light up, so. Yeah. It, so yeah, it's been a really, really fun morning. As I say, no pressure, just come down, have a scope. It's, I think I think doing that recce is really important. I think 
every time you go out with your camera obviously it's you, you try and get a good image but yeah just important just to get out and sometimes you just take it in experience it explore have a wander around take the pressure off yourself and uh yeah try new locations that's cool that is cool i like it anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the photographs i hope uh, maybe they'll come out i don't know but uh, it wasn't about that today anyway <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i'll see you again soon take care